Hi guys, it's been a minute since I recorded a video, but um, I think I'm in for the day. So I wanted to go ahead and record a video before the natural light was gone, since that's what I use for my lighting. So you guys can see me better on the video. And basically, um, <clears throat> A couple of weeks ago, I had some teal highlights, and I basically just wanted to come on real quick and just let you know how I did that. Obviously, it was temporary because my hair is naturally jet blue-black, and um, it's easy, it's fun, and it's quick, quick, and you can actually just go ahead and wash it out when you're done with it. Now, I will give you a warning on natural hair. I use, um, I'll just show you right now color tattoo and this is in teal and it's like a cream based um, eyeshadow now a couple of tips I do have for you guys um, I don't try to do all of my ends I just pick certain pieces just to highlight it and have fun with it um, so it's really not that serious for me I just do a couple of strands of my curly hair um, just to have a little bit of color but the more moisturized your hair is like whatever moisturizer and oil you use to seal, if your hair is really moisturized, really moisturized, the easier the application. If your hair is dry and not moisturized, it's not gonna go on very easily. Now I just use my fingers as my tools and I also have baby wipes to wipe my hands because it's a really messy job. I'm not even gonna lie. Um, it is drying on natural hair. I will let you know that um, up, up front. When I put on the ends of my hair, it's really, really dry. Does it transfer because it's a cream eyeshadow? Not really because my hair is with my other hair, so it really doesn't get to transfer on my clothes. So I, I haven't had a problem of it transferring. But again, I don't put it all over my hair. I just put it on certain upper pieces to get a pop of color. So here, I just basically scrape my finger up to get some product on there and since my hair is very very dark naturally I take a strand of a clump of curls and just smooth it on there like that take a little bit more I, when I scraped it on my finger, I, I kind of pushed it off my fingernail onto a, onto a, a fingertip. Pick another strand and just run it through the tips there. Now, how long does this last? Since I co-wash my hair every day, it only lasts me a day. Um, if you sleep in it, uh, it may tr it's definitely going to transfer on your pillows and stuff. So again, this is nothing that you can like put in your hair once and rock it for two weeks without any type of touch up. This is just a fun thing, easy thing that anybody could do. Kind of like the hair trucks they had out there at one time. Just an easy, quick thing you can do just to get instant wild-like unicorn-like colors for that day. I think I'm gonna pick one more piece on this side and I'm gonna start on the other side of my hair. But it's very easy. I mean, you just pick a piece of hair and just smooth it through. See? There you go. Now I'm gonna look at my fingers. Yeah. Let me go ahead and wipe some of this stuff off before I move on the other side. I love baby wipes. I use baby wipes for everything. I use baby wipes to clean off my makeup. I use baby wipes when my face is totally bare, just if I feel like I need to do a quick whoosh just to refresh it because it's hot. Baby wipes are my best friend. Okay, now on the other side, again, scrape it up. And this one jar I used, I put till in my hair. I don't do it every day. I only do it when, I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling really 
outrageous because <laughs> honestly I, I never colored my hair ever uh, my hair's always been um, jet black um, but scrape some up pick a strand here run it out this would be a cute idea if you have like a little birthday party that you're trying to plan for someone this is can honestly be done for all ages I think I feel so if you have like a little sister or a daughter um, that is having a sleepover and a birthday party and she wants to know what can we do this is something really really fun just buy a couple of cream eyeshadows they don't have to be the color tattoo version there's many cream shadow products out there or you can even buy hair chalk or another thing that people have actually done um, they go to an art craft store and buy regular chalk and take chalk pieces and wet them and run them through their hair too so that's another really inexpensive idea to get quick color but I kind of like the color I tattoo, the consistency is not chalky and chalk sometimes can be extremely drying. So I mean, this is a cute idea. It takes you maybe after you have your hair already styled and everything, it may just take you about, depending on how intense the color you want or how much you want to show up of your hair with this particular color. This is going to take maybe five minutes for me. And one more piece. And then wiping my hands. So yeah, I mean, I thought it was a really cute idea. I actually got this idea from, from um, listening to a YouTube video and they used a, the color tattoo. And I was like, oh, this is really awesome for a person that's petrified of coloring their hair um, this is like an easy temporary way that I can play with color but not be committed to that color so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time bye